You know, if if I could bleed something other than blood, I think I'd, <laughs> I'd love to bleed melted cheese. Alex, where have you been going for icebreakers lately? Where have you been yeah, meeting people that these are the questions that they're leading with? No, it just it just made me think. I, I like pricked my finger earlier and I was bleeding and okay. I was like, wouldn't it be nice if if my blood was like was like a tasty treat? Right, like if I if I bleed and then I have to suck on it to make it stop bleeding, it's like mm, yum yum yum. I mean, you don't like the taste of iron. Yeah, yeah, it, your, your blood is a tasty treat, Alex. It's called cannibalism. Get into it. Yeah, yeah Alex. I don't. Uh, it sounds like the three of us are on board with just blood being blood. It's it's you know if you prepare it right, blood is pretty good. They make blood sausage, and I'm vegetarian. I'm, I can say that. <laughs> you know, I just I just think about it and. And right, like that'd be that'd be a lot of fun. I, I guess I guess what I want is I want cannibalism to be more accessible. I get that. Right? Why can't I just be more delicious? I get that. You know, there's all of these cannibals. There's just gatekeeping, just really hard. And you know, I understand where you're coming from, Alex. Thank you. It's, it's a history of bad behavior. It really kind of ruins the reputation. Yeah, Dahmer, the other guys. You know. Well, okay. Well, look, all right. Well, look, look. You don't like you don't like my bleed cheese idea what the what the fuck are you no, gonna bleed no, Brian? No, that's fine listen i don't <laughs> my problem wasn't with that you're bleeding cheese it's that this is the question you're leading us in with of like hey guy let's let's uh let's break the ice let's get the conversation go oh uh, if you guys could bleed anything that wasn't blood like what where is this coming from i don't it's just a, it's just a weird a weird question to go with probably uh for me though i mean maybe like maple syrup yeah i feel like that because like be that fun. would be because here, here's the th- like you're leading in with this idea right your, your core <laughs> idea here is like if you're bleeding you know yeah. you gotta you, you get a little paper cut you suck on your finger yeah okay now uh-huh. you're not bleeding anymore what if yeah. it was a tasty treat while it's happening but that's not the only situation in which you're going to be bleeding like you're going to be bleeding in a lot of others potential situations rectally so i feel like we you know more often than you there's, think there's that I bet. uh nosebleeds if you're if you see if you get like a sweet panty shot in an anime what you know you got that shit going on <laughs> yep happens all the time you know the ones what uh <laughs> oh anyway mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the point is if you're if you you bleed in a lot of situations i feel like melted cheese would get out of hand really quickly yeah. i feel like that would just make Cause that gets like syrup is sticky. Syrup like definitely that'd be really is, annoying. Is gonna it, like it, it's gonna it's gonna be sticky on stuff for a while. But like you can clean it off. Like it's not the end of the world, and it's still like that sweet treat you get when you suck the finger to to deal with the paper cut. Uh, guys, is this what the podcast is now? We- <laughs> yeah. What the fuck are we doing? All right. Fine. Fine. Okay. I have a good one. Y- yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. I have a good one. Listen, Brian, you bring up a good point. You know, in the different situations where you're going to be bleeding. Uh, I think you should bleed liquor mm. because you're going to sterilize the wound. And okay. if it hurts, you know, you can just drink. It's fine. Oh, like like high it's alcohol. Very, okay. Yeah. Like, you know, it's fine. It's uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, useful. I mean, cheese is useful, but whatever. You know, I mean, at, at this rate, John might, might be bleeding liquor. So, I think he's on to something. In theory, too, that means that you will always... Well, you'd always fail, but always foil like BAC tests because if your blood is just alcohol, like they can't, they don't know, they can't tell. That's true. Well, is everyone's blood alcohol or is it just mine? I'm not sure. Is yeah, Alex, you pitched this hypothetical <laughs> to us. We need some more rules. Are you pitching that you're going to replace our blood? <laughs> yeah, are you <laughs> is, asking is, our preference? First, first, yeah, I suppose our first question should be: Do like if we replace our blood with this other substance, we still live, right? Like we're still. I'm not like a like a. I'm not I'm not being like taxidermied with this. Hello, everyone. We're the hosts of Two Weeks, One Shot, and this is Two's Talk, a podcast inside a podcast inside your ears, where we, the aforementioned hosts of Two's Cast, talk about I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We talk about whatever. Say hi. Say hi, guys. Introduce yourselves really fast. Hi, I'm Harold, and I'm 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 okay with this idea as long as it's still in a workshop. We gotta we gotta we gotta nail this down, man. Because like, because I like it, I like it, but 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 I think it should be more political. You know, it can't it just can't be anything. <laughs> Hi, I'm John, and I bleed whiskey. Hi, I'm Brian, also known as Helix, and uh, I agree with Harold. More politics. That's what this podcast needs. I can bring it up. I can start it up right now. I can do it. I can I can drop it in right now. And I'm Alex, and look, I don't. 
I don't I don't know I don't know what the show is yet, Harold. Uh, you know, but I, do, I you know I don't know what the show is, but I do know it's not that. <laughs> Uh, Why not, though? Because, like, I feel, you know, there's a lot of shows in the RPG uh-huh, space, right? Uh-huh. And that's what we've been doing. And there's a lot of shows that are tangentially on the RPG space of, like, uh-huh. hey, like, we do this RPG show, but now we're going to talk about, like, other nerd shit. Yeah. How many podcasts are there, though, where it's a bunch of RPG dudes who then suddenly launch into the most uninformed political takes that you've ever heard? Yeah, fine. fine. I think after listening to us bubble through uh, a, a dragon playthrough where we all play different magical dragons, they would love to hear us talk about our opinions uh, about the situation in Eastern Europe, maybe. Is that like we're magical girls, but we're dragons? Oh, man. I'd love that game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or or perhaps after, perhaps after we, we do another Western one where we, you know, are on a train heist, we can we can talk about abortion. <laughs> are, you, are you implying that any of these, like, RPGs and then Topics are related. No, in any no, way? no. I'm just saying. In I'm just any saying, way, I'm just saying this could be the structure. This could be. This could be the. This could be the. This could be our energy. So we we do a mini campaign. We do a one shot, and then we just pick an arbitrary topic. Not arbitrary. The current events that are that are very important to people, Brian. An arbitrary current event topic. I'm surprised you don't remember when we played Deadlands. There's that one character that just kind of kept bringing up abortion over and over again. It was really problematic. We had to edit him out. But well, yeah, that's just because it tied into one of your backstories. Really, it, it really. <laughs> Uh, one of you was playing. I can't make that joke. Never mind. <laughs> hey, and I just want to say I am so proud of us from like when we recorded Deadlands to now. I la- how, look how loose we are. Here we are making jokes about abortion and stuff. And like, we're not even apologizing for it. <laughs> this is great. This is fantastic. I know that all of this is getting cut, but I don't know if I even want on recording the joke I was about to make. That's not how this works. All of this is in, and I'm not relaxed. I'm clenched AF right now, all right? (laughs) Oh my God, Alex. No, we're doing great. I'm honestly really proud of us. This is solid. Please delete like half of what we've said. No, no, this is how it works. Can you delete half of what we've said, but only like every other word of what we've said? We can't delete you, Brian. You, You exist. You have a right to say all this shit, so... You know, you did it. You did it. And now that now the world will know. Hey, you want to do the fun <laughs> thing that I thought we were going to do for this for this thing? What? what? <laughs> sure. OK, I'm going to bring up three fictional mega corporations in movies. OK. And right. And all of them just seem to like the end goal is like kill everybody for whatever reason. I don't really know what that does. Mm. Uh, now, without looking it up. Okay. OK, I want you to tell me what is the actual purpose of. Or like, right, what is the stated purpose of this organization in this movie? Ah, aha. Uh-huh. Okay. okay, I like this. Okay, I like okay. This. So Terminator has Skynet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was Skynet originally supposed to do aside from kill all humans? Oh, oh. It was, um, wasn't it just like for general intelligence? It was just the first artificial intelligence. It was like artificial intelligence. Uh-huh. It was just supposed to like help solve problems. I don't. Was it for defense? It's the other British cable news channel. Yeah. <laughs> Harold's got it. That's what it was. It was Sky yeah. News became Skynet. Yeah. And for, wait, <laughs> for that was that Skynet? No. <laughs> that makes sense to me, honestly. This, Alex, you could it's been a long time since I saw the Terminator and I know nothing about like the backstory of that universe. And you're talking about stuff that they talked about in like the third Terminator. Movie. Yeah. So like you could tell me anything about the truth of this uh-huh. and I would uh-huh. I would just be on board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't know. We don't know anything. This is this is the fun part about it. Okay. Like it, yeah, like that Sky News thing that sounded right to me. Like, sure, why the fuck is Sky News becomes Skynet and then it takes over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's not the real answer. It's it's what we it's what we feel it that it is, right? That's that's what we're doing for That's now. how facts work. <laughs> yeah. Let me read the Wikipedia entry for Skynet. Sure. It's a, in the first film, it is stated that Skynet was created by Cyberdyne. So maybe that's what I should have said, not Cyberdyne, not Skynet. For Sack Norad. Defense. And then it gained self awareness and then humans tried to deactivate it and then it kills everybody. You cut me off. I was I was going to say, I thought it had something to do with like the, the defense program or like nuclear defense because it yeah. was like the 80s or whatever that Terminator was made. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was big. That was big. So everyone was still all like Star Wars, like not the movies, but the Reagan thing. Sure, sure. <laughs> Fucking Reagan. Like, oh, we got to shoot missiles out of the sky because that's how we save ourselves from nuclear disaster. Yeah, that's right. The Iron Dome, baby. It's out there. So that's Skynet. Okay, okay. Uh, evil Corporation numero, numero dos. Okay. Uh, Resident Evil has the ever-present Umbrella Corporation. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
An umbrella for every household. Yeah. Yeah, they made umbrellas. Yeah, yeah. Straight to the point. What was umbrella's original purpose? What was it supposed to actually be doing aside from turning everyone into zombies? It's uh it's like a medical it's like a medical lab. Yeah, it was I'm pretty sure they're pharmaceuticals yeah. and then they were catheters. But the, but the the zombies I know were uh, their attempt to get into like military stuff cuz uh-huh. they're they're described in the first they they never use zombie in the first game I don't think. It's always like oh they're 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 BOWs, they're bioorganic <laughs> weapons or something. Yeah, what you want for your military is that we got to kill a lot of people on your side and then we infect them with this thing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then we turn them into into perfect killing machines machines except that they're really slow and non-functional and you can basically just sort of jog at a brisk pace to get away from them mm. didn't they have fast zombies though i thought it was a fast zombie game in the movies they had fast yeah, zombies. They're, well yeah yeah in the, in the movies they did uh in in the first game in the first and second game the only like fast zombie you have really is like the liquors the liquors oh, oh and then you you also have the crimson heads so like yeah, eventually yeah. they become fast can't forget them they just are slow for a long time first. It's just weird because when I think about the movies, right, there's like that first one where it's kind of localized. It's the hive, right? The second one, it's Umbrella or it's a uh, Raccoon City. Mm-hmm. And then the third one, like the world fucking ends. But Umbrella is still doing Umbrella stuff. Like, I don't get what mm-hmm. the corporation is trying to accomplish after the apocalypse part of it. Yeah, in, in the movies in particular, it's definitely like really. And, and also in the games, once you hit a certain point, like for the first few games, it's like, OK, I, I guess this this kind of tracks and then like by the fifth and sixth game it's like what's what's umbrellas what are they what are they what 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 are they doing <laughs> like why, are, why why is umbrella just why yeah why are they still relevant <laughs> So let's see here. Okay, uh, the the Wikipedia entry. I'm looking on the Resident Evil Fandom dot com wiki. So mm-hmm. if that's not the good wiki. Let me know on Twitter. I guess. Hey, listen. No, no, no. That's the Fandom wikis. I trust wholeheartedly for specific information for like within that like realm within that thing. I'm just shocked there's not like a, a Resipedia or something, right? That mm. I'm, that's, the, that's the one you should be looking at. Anyway, uh, it says the Umbrella Corporation was a multinational conglomerate with subsidiaries acting in a variety of industries from the 80s to the 2000s at influence in production and sale of cosmetics, chemicals, pharmaceuticals, uh, industrial machine production, consumer products, health food, the transportation, man, and, and tourism. Of course, it's an umbrella corporation. <laughs> come, come visit beautiful raccoon <laughs> cities. Visit, yeah, yeah. Come to see our police station that has a lot of puzzles in it for no reason. No, there is a reason. It used to be a museum. Umbrella Corp is like the most unimaginative name for it because it is. It's an umbrella corporation as like a term, but then they're just like, ah, oh, we need a company to like house all of our other companies. What do we call it? Umbrella Corporation. <laughs> well, I mean, you know. It's a scary zombie game for kids, right? I mean, you gotta you gotta teach them how the world works a little, you know. I don't know if it's strictly for kids. It's for kids. It's for kids. It's the zombie game for kids, of course. Yeah, the that's why that's why all the blood is so bright. Brian, when did you play Resident Evil the most? That's what they put it on the box that said yeah. Resident <laughs> Evil, the zombie game for kids. That was the tagline. I bet all these other <laughs> parts of Umbrella have made the tourism wing pretty difficult to operate in i feel like the tourism wing is interesting such secluded locales right it's like go go visit the art claim mountains well no wait there's there's a bunch of suspicious cannibal murders there okay go visit go visit raccoon city ah well we kind of nuked it (laughs) okay go go visit go visit this beautiful town in spain well there's there's kind of some bug people living in that one go visit go visit uh this this amazing section of africa well we kind of kind of missed that one up to a little bit just like logistically speaking if you're trying to organize that many different things like something's gonna go wrong different <laughs> sectors like you're gonna like are they are they financially like are, are they good what's the stock symbol <laughs> Yeah, how's the, how's Umbrella stock doing throughout that? I feel like I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like that is a plot point in one of the games. Actually, I'm pretty sure they bring up that Umbrella. Well, because I know in uh, well, actually, no, straight up, our uh, Resident Evil Four, the the little intro uh, section of Resident Evil Four is the company brings going up under. As Leon's talking about like, oh, here's what uh, has happened to me since I was a rookie cop and had to survive zombies. Uh, it's just mentioned like off screen that yeah, after everything went down in Raccoon City, Umbrella was like found responsible and sued into oblivion. 
they don't exist anymore. But then they do exist again in five and six. So I don't know. Yeah, well, you can't get rid of them. I, I, I would love if one of the plots were that you're like an umbrella employee and they're like, our stock is down. You need to eradicate this zombie infestation, not because they're zombies, but because we we need our stock price to go back up. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, that's uh, the umbrella mercenary forces in in Resident Evil 3. Right, Umbrella Mercenary, go. Wasn't it also, there was more, one of the spinoff games you were working for Umbrella. Was it Outbreak? Was it the Outbreak no, series? No, Umbrella Core, which is one of the worst Resident Evil games. Oh, it's, geez, it's sorry. It's awful, and which kind of yeah. makes it amazing in its own way. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, but okay. Can we also talk real quick about the fact <laughs> that you mentioned they sell cosmetics? They sell cosmetics, yeah. And you think the zombies would look better. I mean, okay, but you know what? To be fair, are, are they involved in fashion? I think Pyramid Head is very striking. Well, I mean, cosmetics is wait. Pyramid Head is not Resident Evil, John. Pyramid Head. That's that's uh yeah, that's Silent Hill, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I've never played any of these games. It all blends together. What if Silent Hill had an evil mega corporation behind it instead of just instead of just like uh like sexual fantasies? Is Silent Hill in fashion? Well, first off. Uh, there's not a mega corporation behind Silent Hill, but there is uh, a cult behind it. It's a big pyramid scheme. Uh, yeah, big pyramid scheme <laughs> headed by Pyramid Head. That's that's what it is. Silent Hill 2. Another unimaginative name. Yep. Silent Hill 2 is just James's manifestation of having suffered financial losses uh, due to a pyramid scheme. Due to being invested in Umbrella Corp. Yeah. He became his own CEO and uh, then had to go to Silent Hill. It's the worst. So, yeah, that's that's Umbrella. I, I don't know. I just, I just, it got me thinking like, right? Like you keep seeing after these apocalypses, these, these mega corporations apparently just keep going. And like, what's the, what's the game plan after you kill everybody? When do the, is it like step one, incorporate? Step two, come up with the evil virus. Step three, question marks. And then step four, profit? Like, what's the you know, what's the plan there? Just like us, right? Having a, a small and committed <laughs> fan base, you know, an audience okay. of, you know, yeah. consumers that you can really kind of maintain and control and uh -huh. punish if they don't like and subscribe as hard as they need to. I mean, that's that's, okay. that's good for any organization, I think. No, Phil, Phil, I'm telling you, zombies are everywhere. We got to make them. There's tons of money in it. Let's make them real. Yeah. <laughs> if we don't make them real, someone else is. Someone's going to beat us to market. <laughs> Harold, are you implying that we're eventually going to become an evil mega core? I mean, I'm... I thought we were already because um, I have my other, I mean, tie-ins. Um, uh, okay. Uh, Uncle Ben's baked beans, y'all. If you haven't noticed, we got to be selling these Uncle Ben baked beans. What? Oh, that's why That's why the room behind you is filled with Uncle Ben's baked beans. Yeah, I also sell knives and um, um, uh, uh, little planters that are shaped like Pokemon, uh -huh. um, and as well as uh, marijuana. Also nuclear weapons. But what's... Oh, okay. I was going to say, what's the evil part of this evil corporation? Because, like, that's, like, when people well, bring up... Well, the planters and the nuclear weapons. But, like, budget nuclear weapons. Like, yeah. real-life companies, and they're like, oh, they're they're evil. And it's like, but are... I mean, a lot of them are. Let's... Uh, if, you, if you look hard enough, I mean... It's a, it's a legacy company. I inherited it from my father. That's us, guys. That's us. That will be us any day now. A legacy company? <laughs> Once the Patreon money starts to really flow, when we can allocate okay. the funds mm -hmm. to some real evil shit. Uh -huh. I, I'm happy to say that the Patreon money has doubled. It has... It's du it's doubled. <laughs> it's doubled, guys. It's doubled. Once we can turn all of our listeners into bioorganic weapons and sell them to various governments... We, we cannot wait to activate all of y'all and force um, your aggressive violence upon our enemies. Yeah, once you subscribe to the Patreon, you do accept the clause that we are implanting the zombie virus in you and it will be activated at some point in the future. Oh my god, you, you said that and then our Patreon subscriptions tripled. Ah. That's right. Uh, Patreon.com slash twoscast TWOS cast. Three dollars? God, we knew there was money in zombies. I knew it! I knew it! Umbrella had it and we, and we fucking let them get away with it. Dicks. Was there a third corporation you wanted to discuss? Uh, okay, yeah. The last one we can we just can, round it out. We like threes. It's we'll a, round it out threes. Yeah, I know we're all about twos here, but three three is a nice good number to go for. Twos were fucking last year. Threes are now. Next year's gonna suck for us. It's gonna be weird. I thought this was the year of twos. You're the you're the year of twos. Yeah, I know. I'm already thinking about the future. It's hard to live in the present. Okay, from the Aliens franchise, what does the Wayland Yutani Corporation do? Ooh. 
Ooh. Hold up. Oh, wait, are they evil? Because isn't the villain, I mean, the aliens are like the thing in Aliens. But they're the evil mega core in it. I feel like the corporation is like, they. there's something at some point I want to say where like- Aren't they just miners? They know about the aliens, but mm-hmm. they don't do anything to stop it or they like knowingly uh, allow them to come in. But yeah, I'm pretty sure they do, they're they mining, I think. There's something related to mining. Because like in the, in the, she comes out into like the mining rig thing to fight the- the alien rate? I don't know. I haven't seen them in gears. John, what what do you see at this point? You haven't seen any of these things. God damn it, John. <laughs> I just rewatched Star Trek. So are there evil mega corporations in Star Trek? Huh? There is uh, uh-huh. the Ferengi planet. Right, what's their end goal? <laughs> is that a planet or a mega core? Oh, they're all just all about profit. Oh. Uh, oh, remember, okay. exploitation begins at home. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Well, so the wiki entry under Alienpedia. No, I'm in the AVP Wikipedia. No, that's uh, the last one. Alien versus Predator. No. Hold on. God. It would have been so much better if they did that movie like a court case. Like they had to like show up. <laughs> Alien v Predator. <laughs> like, all right. The plaintiff would like to uh, recommend. If it was like an oratory based film, you know. <laughs> the people versus. The people versus Predator. <laughs> it was just like, you know, um, you know, those classic characters speaking from the heart. That'd be great. And then also the little mandibles in the, in the mouth. Yeah. Making little, yeah. While they're talking. Yeah. They're like clicking like. The mandibles click. You must quit. <laughs> hey, I like that. There you go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Now we're on alienanthology.fandom.com. I don't know if that's the better one. All right. Cool. 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 Uh, Wayland Jutani is a large conglomerate corporation known as in quotations, the company. Mm-hmm. It is one of the many mega corporations that runs the human colonies outside the solar system through the Extrasolar Colonization Administration. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So they run colonies. That doesn't tell me what they do. Um, that just tells me they're a big corporation that, along with others, does colonization. At some point in the 21st century, the British corporation Whalen Corps eventually merged with the Japanese company Utani Corp and became the antecedent to the Wayland yutani Conglomerate Corporation. And then it just skips over to 2,122. So, hmm. It sounds like if all they're doing is taking care of these colonies, it sounds like they have, like, government contracts to do that. That'd be the only way they'd make money. Here we go. There's there's divisions here. Okay, there's the Bioweapons Division, which was a special department of the Wayland yutani Corp, which dealt with the research and development of biological and viral weapons. Look at that. We got another umbrella. Oh, viral weapons. It's Umbrella Corp in the future. Your umbrella. It's Umbrella all over again. Yeah, it's another Umbrella. Umbrella all the way down. Uh, and then it just says other divisions in relationship to the military. Uh, it has other divisions of interest devoted to areas such as uh, the, the... Cosmetics. Extra, yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> tourism, pharmaceuticals, uh, extrasolar colonial administration. That's just tourism. That's making me think, guys. If we're, if we're, I mean, our next conversation, of course, is merch. And like, what are we going to do for merch? I know we have to do that. Uh, but I think maybe cosmetics is the place we got to go. I mean, all these twos cosmetics, right. twos cosmetics. I mean, twos I mean, the future. It's 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 unisex. I mean, we can do it for anybody. I mean, we can we can make makeup and cosmetics for people like us and for the people that that like us, whoever those people may be. It's just the lipstick uh, in in our color purple. That's all that we're selling. I love that. That's fantastic. That's all it is. Also, it could be like huckleberry flavored or something. The huckleberry? Purple. I like it. Is huckleberry good? Oh, it's purple. It's a nice purple. People color. make pies out of it and yeah, dogs. That's true. Are lipsticks flavored? <laughs> <laughs> they make dogs out of Huckleberry it? Hound. Come on. Oh. That's a great question for our listeners. God, you, you fuckers have no culture. I only watch Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, John, fuck. Watch anything <laughs> aside from Star Trek, damn it. I've only been watching Star Trek too, actually. It's it just it's the only thing that has me sleep at night. Both of you, come on. That and Encanto. Alex prepped these fantastic icebreaker questions about blood and corporations, and you guys have nothing to bring to the table. Cheese blood, sir. Cheese blood? Mm, that sounds good. That sounds like an evil corporation plan. With like a couple of nice crackers and like a little bit of little bolognese and like uh, charcuterie a little. Does that mean that we're going to need to re-record something and talk about Shaq, King of Cheese? <laughs> Yo, man, I would love to have done a half an hour on Shaq. I think that's the topic that we all could have done. You know what? Let's talk about Shaq for a little bit. I'm changing the conversation. And that's our <laughs> show, everybody. Big shout out to... What's your first memory of Shaquille O'Neal? Oh, Mine's How about you guys? <laughs> 
I think for me, it was probably that terrible movie Shazam or Kazam. I can't really remember. Excuse me, terrible? <laughs> well, maybe you need to rewatch it. Cause... See, this is what I'm saying. I say terrible, but but in my heart of hearts, I remember it fondly. He was fun. Well, anyway, that's our show, everybody. Uh, like I said, we still don't know. I don't know what this is. I don't really. We haven't even picked out a theme song, so we'll we'll put that in later. Uh, but you know, go ahead and check the show notes, uh, for links to everything. And we're going to do this like on the off weeks in between adventures, I guess. So now we're, Something. now we're owning Tuesdays. It's not just every other Tuesday. We're owning every Tuesday. Uh, and you can't stop us. That's our end goal as a corporation yeah. is to own Tuesdays. It's, it's, uh, own Tuesdays. Yeah. Move over Thor. Oh, wait, that's Thursdays. <laughs> yeah, well, John, that's not... <laughs> it's because he pays more attention to Star Trek than mythology. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we're going to own Tuesdays. We're going to get into cosmetics, pharmaceuticals, tourism, and then mm-hmm. uh, bioweaponry. Yeah. I think that's uh, that's where the money really comes in. But first step is sign up for our Patreon so we can get to the bioweapons. Nuclear blood cheese. Make blood cheese. T-shirt. Yeah. Nu- nu- nuclear blood cheese. Oh, blood cheese. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know what that second word was for a minute. I was like, what the... F-? Alcoholic blood cheese. Nuclear liquor blood cheese. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. Good night, everyone. Bye. Bye. Adios.